with a clapping and a standing ovation. I want us to celebrate. The one who the Lord gave this vision and demanded us this. Nobody but Apostle Philip Cephas. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you are excited? Well, it doesn't seem as such. The level of your excitement is determined by how much you pray. And somehow, I didn't see so many of you pray. I trust God that we will pray more again. Time has always been a constraint in this side of divide. And one of the challenges that God will have is time. And sometimes, men may not have sufficient time before they encounter God and they are dead. And because the life of a man is factor in time, it's a limitation. You may want to live your own life for five years and decide to give yourself to God afterward. The challenge is you may not have five years to live. So sometimes as much as time is an advantage to trade upon the face of the earth, it may be a disadvantage. It is true that if you seek God in time, early enough is going to build your life but if you refuse to seek God and you advance through the corridors of darkness you will require time to repair your life one of the greatest challenge is you don't have time when we come to the presence of the Lord one of the things we always have to do is that we should not be conscious of time as much as we are conscious of it Knowing fully well that God may not come at our own time. He may have to come at his own time. When we appear before the presence of the Lord, we must be conscious enough to discern. I know it may not take God so much time to do what he intends to do with you, but at least you have not to be conscious of time. I will not take your time. We will be brief today. But I need you to forget about your GP, forget about you have not eaten, forget some of those things. Within the few minutes we have, be conscious enough. But eventually, you may be able to see the glory of the Lord. And from that side, you can be transformed. We are going to pray again. But before we advance, help me appreciate the reverend of this great commission. Reverend Emmanuel Agabi. I've seen a lot of Reverend. But I've not seen a humble man like him. Thank you so, so much. He's an elder, he's a father. He has given birth to many of us here. It takes humility for you to be old like him and still love the Lord. And afterward, help me appreciate my friends and my brothers with me here is Apostle Righteous Apostle Awe Abdodo Apostle Jonathan Aponza Apostle Paul Michael Honor Apostle Liman Iyaka Ayaka Apostle Al Eslaudu and my beloved brother also Apostle Victor. Help me also appreciate the amazing choir in town. How many of you enjoyed the administration? Sorry, there was not too much time for them. Help me appreciate Kago. Kago did so much. Kago, justice. Help me appreciate Valentine. He has been up and down since. And help me appreciate yourself. Hey, help me appreciate my mother. This is my biological mother. Ah. You know, the story of my life is not complete without my mother. While I was a smoker and a drunkard, my mom made me a prayer point. Never underestimate the power of a praying mother. 
if you don't have one you are in trouble maybe that's the why your life is the way it is so you have to become the praying mother and the praying father the hope of our generation will only be people that can pray while I was a bad person she made me a prayer project attach my name to every prayer house and give them seed force my friends to pray for me force everybody to pray for me and when the lord appeared to me he said he came to answer the prayer of a groaning and a weeping mother no amount of prayer you pray is wasted it's a lie one day the cloud will be full of rain and it will empty itself can we pray again and ask the lord to help us within the few moments that we have that let the lord visit us and reveal himself to us in a mighty way while we pray i know you have a lot of expectations present those expectations to the lord sometimes you don't need hands to be laid upon you what you need is the hand of god what you need is the presence and the power of the lord open your mouth and pray you don't need a prayer point that's the problem you have been praying prayer point for a long time it has not helped you open your mouth and cry to the lord before you know it we are done but it's less for you have you made contact with god have you experienced god I wish we have enough time that we pray more. Shaba beto baska belatane. If you don't pray, the devil will be too big in your life. The devil will be too strong. It will look as though God has lied, but no, it's because you do not pray. Baba tobai baba na nakabaska blata baba na nakabaska ta. Shaba bela neko baska balata na taskane. Baba baba tena ka baba kata bala tiaska Baba baska na la taska Baba esko bala tena ka baska ta Raba bata na ba kwaska bata baba la tala bakaska Hele ne to baska Ah 
Adonai Yahweh Elohim You are the King And you reign forever Adonai Adonai Yahweh Elohim You are the King And you reign forever Adonai Thank you, Jesus. 